Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this employee retention dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page and here we are showing the total employee available in the organization, then how many are the active employees and how many employees are resigned. And here we are showing the average salary of the employees. And this is the performance rating out of five for all the employees. Here we are showing the average performance rating by the department. And we are showing this is on the star rating chart. This is a dynamic chart. And we are showing this information here. Then we are showing here gender diversification, like how many female employees are there and the male employee. We are showing the numbers as well as percentage also. In this beautiful male female chart, we are showing the resigned employee percentage by the gender. Then we are showing here average salary by job role. Now let me come to the next page, which is the department analysis. And we are also showing here the department, location, manager, job role and gender wise slicer. So if you want to see the information for a particular manager, you click there. All the information will be changed here automatically. You can see. Okay, and if you want to see for a location like Berlin, Dubai, then you can see the whole page will be filtered according to the selected location as well as you can filter by the job role also like you want to see for the manager level information, you can see that is getting changed. Now let's go to the department analysis page. Just click here. So it will take you to the department analysis page. Here we are showing the average training hours by the departments. So these are the all departments and we are providing the some kind of training. So this is the average training hours by the department. Here we are showing the average salary by the department. So maximum salary we are providing in the R&D department. Then here we are showing the resigned employee by the department. You can see these all information is available here. This is the total employees by the department. Now, if you want to see, let's say average salary by the department for a particular role, for example, I want to see for the assistant level role, I just click here and you can see that is getting changed. Now the maximum salary in the assistant role is in the finance department. Or if I click on the manager role and just click on this manager button and then you can see in the R&D, we are getting the maximum salary in the R&D department for the manager role. All right. So you can quickly see the view of your business uh, in terms of the headcount uh, attrition and the retention. Now let's go to the location analysis space. Here we are showing the location level analysis. We have taken here multiple locations data. If your office is in the multiple locations, you can analyze for a particular location also. Like here we are showing the average employee engagement uh, score out of 100. So this is the average is engagement score by the different location maximum is in the Berlin minimum is in the Mumbai. This is the total employee by the locations. We can see here this information on this uh, disk pie chart as well as here we are showing the active employee by the location. This is the total employee, but this is the active employee. So maximum employees are in the New York minimum in the Ber Berlin. Here we are showing the resigned employee percentage by the location. So maximum design is from the Berlin maximum is minimum is from the Mumbai. Now you can just filter this information. Let's say I want to see the HR department information only. So this is all HR departments. For example, we have the headcount, active headcount uh, 12 in the New York for the HR, but in Berlin, we have just four employees of the HR department or let's say finance. So quickly you can see that information, how many employees are there in, in the different locations for the various uh, department. Or you can uh, select, let's say, how many managers are there. So you select that, then you can quickly see only two managers are there in the Singapore. But in New York, we have 16 managers. Okay. So quickly, you can see that information here. And you can see the resign percentage. You can see all the information. If you want to see the female employee, let's say I want to see how many female employees are there. So you can see that quick information or how many male employees are there. You can see that also. All right. So now let's go to the job role analysis and here we are showing the average training hours by the role and here we are showing the app designed employee by the job role and this is the terminated employee by the job role. 
here we are showing the resigned employee percentage by the job role so this is a resignation percentage and this is for the male employee only if i just uncheck that then this is for all if you want to see for the hr department only you can see that also or if you want to see for a particular location you can use the two slicer also together for let's say in berlin how many for the hr you can just click and you can see that information also all right so that is how you can quickly filter the dashboard and you can quickly see the information in the last we are showing the supervisor level summary so we are showing the resigned employee percentage by the supervisor so we can see here we have taken the various supervisor and this is the supervisor or the manager okay and here we are showing the terminated employee by the supervisor active employee by the supervisor and here we are showing the average salary by the supervisor okay so when this is the average salary that means the employee this is the average of the employee salary which is coming under the particular supervisor if you want to see again this by the location you can just click that and you can see that information all right so that's it in this dashboard now i will show you the data so here at bottom we have taken one data tab also in the data let me show you what we are taking this is the employee id employee name gender age and then we are showing here department job role manager location hire date employee status performance rating then we are showing here engagement score training hours then we are putting here current salary of the employee we have taken here few calculated field like month year active employees resigned employee terminated employee and the total employee total employee will be one because each line is a one employee for the active employees we just have put the formula a employee status which is here if employee status equal to active then one otherwise zero similarly here we have taken if employee status is resigned then one otherwise zero for the terminated we have used uh, employee status as terminated then one otherwise zero all right total employee for year and month also we have used the formula now coming to the support sheet in the support sheet we have taken the various pivot tables so here you can see we have created all these pivot table on the basis of this data and these pivot table for each and every excel sheet for example for overview we have created these all the pivot table for the overview then for department analysis we have created these are for the department analysis location then job role analysis okay according to these pivot tables we have created the charts like and the cards here and to create these design these all are rectangles we just have used the excel shapes you can see and then we have placed them together if you want to learn more about these kind of chart how we can create these kind of chart as well as how we can create these type of cards we have placed and the navigation system how we can create the custom slicer like we have created here you can join our course we have given the link in the video description box all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching